Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dedicated server in the beta branch of Don't Starve Together on your Nodecraft server. So, start from the dashboard on Nodecraft, scroll down to your saved instances. We're going to create a new instance and we're going to select Don't Starve Together, scroll down, hit next. We're gonna enter all the info on this page. And down here you have the option of selecting between the main branch and the beta branch of Don't Starve Together. Go ahead and select the beta branch. You can change this later, by the way, with the one-click installer inside the instance. Once the instance gets created, just go ahead and hit deploy. Now, once the instance finishes deploying, we're going to go to the instance and open it up. And in here, we are going to click on game settings. We are going to enter all of the info for the server. If you want to enable 64-bit on your server, then it's important to go to advanced and click this enable 64-bit mode. And I would also recommend setting the tick rate to 15. This is the, I believe, the default tick rate used by the game. Once everything's looking good, go ahead and click save. And that will save all of your game settings. And now we're going to go to cluster token. Now to get the cluster token, we generate it inside the game the same way we generate uh, the cluster token in a main instance of the game. The difference is you wanna make sure that when you start up Don't Starve Together that you have the beta branch enabled. So if you haven't already done so, go to your Steam library, right click on Don't Starve Together and click properties. Then in this menu, you're gonna click betas and just make sure that the beta is selected from this drop down list. And once you confirm that's true, go ahead and start up the game. So once you got the game open and you can confirm that we are in the beta build, we're gonna open up the console and we're going to generate our cluster token. And once we run that command, we can go to our data folder and grab cluster token.txt. We're gonna open that up. We're gonna copy the entire thread and we're going to bring it over to Nodecraft. Paste it right into the cluster token field, hit save. Okay, before we go on, let's just confirm that all of the appropriate files have been written to the server. So we're gonna go to this file manager. We're gonna navigate into clay. Do not starve together, my daddy server. Cool. So when we entered the game settings, that created the cluster.ini. When we entered the cluster token, that entered that created cluster token.txt. So awesome. Now, there's one last thing we need to do before we start up this beta server. And that is, we need to rename this folder. This is the default name of the folder when you start a server in the main branch. Problem is, we're in the beta branch, so we gotta rename this. Now, to find the name of the new folder, we can go back to the data folder that we opened up when we uh, clicked on the data button in-game. And you see right here, there's a folder, it's called Don't Starve Together Beta Branch. This name has changed during return of them it used to be do not starve together return of them beta it is currently called do not starve together beta branch so we're going to use that name for this folder so we're going to select the folder we're going to hit rename and we're going to rename it to do not starve together beta branch and at this point we should be good to go let's go ahead and start up the server and see how it does okay I think the server is started up and looking good. Let's go to browse games. Let's see if we can find the server. So we're online. We're going to search for Jazzy. Do we have a beta test world? Yeah, Jazzy's test beta. Let's go ahead and hop in just to make sure that we got admin and we are indeed in the beta. And here we are. Got the admin star right there. So we're good to go. Here's your brand new Nodecraft beta dst server so yeah that does it for this guide if you are signing up for nodecraft server be sure to use my code jazzy's games for a bit of a discount and to uh throw some love towards the channel thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time